Hey, what's happening, good people? I pray you're all doing well. I just wanted to bring you guys some random footage of the lost right wingers. Yes, they are most certainly lost, just as well as the left. Uh, this guy literally compares T. Rump to Christ's crucifixion. I couldn't believe my ears. And look at T. Rump with his mini baby commie fist. Why, why are Trump's hands so small, so tiny? I don't know. Um, well, random story, one day um, I ate a couple edibles. I think two of them, I don't know why I did it while I was watching a Trump rally when he was at Mount Rushmore and I couldn't help but stare at his tiny hands. I I'm just saying. Okay, let me get to the video. <laughs> uh, wow. Locals Virginia Lamb and Ebert Smith were excited when Donald Trump announced a sort of comeback rally at the nearby fairground. They came to support a leader they believe was wronged. I voted for Trump both times, and we know he won this last time. We need to speak what's true. Remember what they did to Jesus for speaking the truth? They crucified him. Same thing they did to Donald Trump. They tried to crucify him not on the cross, but what he stands for. The myth of a stolen election lives on for many Republicans. And Donald Trump spent large portions of his speech denying his defeat by Joe Biden 15 months ago. A person that comes here and has crowds that go further than any eye can see. There's nobody that can see the end of this crowd. That's not somebody that lost an election. And now because of it, our country is being destroyed. Trump called on his supporters to help Republicans, at least the ones that he likes, to reclaim control of Congress in midterm elections this November. He needs to come back. He needs to reunite us as a country. He promised that he's going to make America great again. He did it before. He's going to do it again. The 2022 election campaign is set to begin at a moment when President Joe Biden is unpopular on issues like inflation, which reached 7 percent over the last year. It costs twice as much to fill my truck up with gas. It costs twice as much to fill my cart up with groceries, milk, bacon. You know, everything's more expensive. You want to you want to add on to your house. That's all more expensive. That's a direct result of Joe Biden messing up the supply chain. Donald Trump has made eminently clear that he is not going to go away. In 2022, he's seeking a role as a sort of kingmaker for the Republican Party. And in 2024, his supporters here hope he will seek a restoration. Crazy, right? And I know y'all caught the dude throwing up the devil horns, but hey, you know, it means rock and roll, right? I mean, T. Rump is obviously up there playing the guitar and getting it in. So, you know, it means rock and roll. <laughs> but yeah. You see what's happening here? Like, he's getting all kinds of people to gather. Middle class, lower class, uh, rich, poor, whatever. Uh, evangelicals, he's really shaping up like he could be one of the ACs or the AC. I mean, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. All right, I'm out of here.